Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Got more Led Zeppelin for you today. As you probably already know, because you clicked on the video, because yep. you're subscribed and you've got that notification that you've turned on. If not, then you should get on that. <laughs> Am I right? Yes, you should. And uh, this is our fourth track from Led Zeppelin. We've yeah. got three of them under our belt now. Yeah, I've been um, enjoying them. Pardon? I've been enjoying them. Do you have a favorite from the, the three I that we've done? I think I like Immigrant Song the best so far. So that was the last one that yeah, we did. it's a little bit shorter, but like a straight, like, to the point, packed with power. <laughs> I liked it. So, um, so yeah, I mean, that, that was a great song. It was a little bit shorter, like you said, not much build in that one. We got um, introduced with the first song that we did was A Whole Lot of Love. And yes. that was... Um, I think some of you said that maybe that wasn't the best version that we should have listened to for our first introduction to Led Zeppelin. I still like that song. It was great. Yeah. And um, Stairway, to Stairway to Heaven was obviously yeah. the it's one a, that... It's a little classic for them, I feel like. like it's yeah. It's like one of their well, most known songs. Yeah, yeah, it's most known except for us. Yeah. Because we didn't know the song. <laughs> yes, um, and uh, so you guys were saying because we didn't know the song that we lived under a rock, which is not true. We do live on planet Earth and above rocks, but... Well, Earth is a rock now. We do live on a rock, not yeah, under, under a rock. Fair. However, I would agree with you that, you know, most people probably do know that song and, um, you know, that's for us because we just had, you know, not been exposed to it from our upbringing, from the people around us. Yeah. And also we had no interest in it when we were younger because we listened to a predominantly, you know, one, one or two types of music and didn't expand. Yeah. And now... That I, it, like, the furthest I ever went with rock music was Guitar Hero, so... Yes. And that was further than I went, so... <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, but we, as we've gotten older, we've broadened our horizons in terms of what we want to listen to and, and check out. And it's been a great, great experience, really mm -hmm. opened up our, yeah. our eyes tremendously. And, uh, you know, for me, I think, uh, you know, I went to school post-secondary for recording engineering, which is more, you know, the mixing, mastering side of things. And at that time, you know, I was just focusing on one aspect of music, one type of music, one genre of music, music I should just say. Yeah. And so that's why I kind of got stuck in one lane and I didn't hear a lot of stuff, you know, when I was growing up. In high school, there were certain things that you listen to. You guys know how it is, right? You don't, you can't listen to everything. And there's certain things that are really popular when you grew up. And in the 70s. Yeah. Seems like there was a lot of rock fans. There was. I think a lot of it too has to do with, you know, we've talked about this before, but what your parents listen to or yes. family members, right? If you didn't yep. have older like parents that listen to it or older siblings or family members, like my parents were just never into rock music really. And um, the furthest in my, the, like me growing up in the early 2000s was like more of the punk rock, right? Like the Sum 41 and all that kind yeah. of stuff, which is a completely different type of rock. Yeah, it's, it's so. definitely not the 70s rock that <laughs> no. we've been getting into. But it's just so crazy to me how much, how, in particular, how much rock uh, that has stood the test of time over the past 50 mm, years. It's crazy. And how much of it seemed to come from England, yeah. from a you know that of area it. of the world, yeah. a tremendous amount of it. So. Yeah. That was, that's been really eye-opening. Anyways, Led Zeppelin, back to them. We got Black Dog today. This will be our first, fourth song from them. Excited to check it out. No idea really what this is going to be about other I than a Black high Dog. expectations. It's Black Dog and I like animals, so. <laughs> well, I think it's something to do with a Labrador that was running around the studio or something like that when they made this that's song. That's amazing. So uh, that's that's as far as we know. So I don't know if this is going to be real deep in terms of the lyrics, but maybe you know it's, it's more known for the composition musically. So you ready? Let's do it. Burn, gonna 
So this is this is different. This, this is, is really interesting. Yeah, it's a unique composition in that like the stop starts. Yeah, you yeah, know, it's like, very like back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, it's like almost like a call to the instrumentation. Yeah. You know, when he comes in with his vocal and like yeah. calls it back in, and um, it honestly is hard though to me for me to catch the groove of it. Yes, I would agree. I, and I almost feel like they're switching the the. the the time in it, the yeah, time signature or something. Yeah, it's a little bit slower. Yeah, it's, it's, so it's yeah. hard for me to catch the rhythm, up, but I feel like it's not designed for really like a groove kind yeah, of track. Yeah, like dance to it and stuff. It's, yeah, exactly. It's, it's more of like an energy song, maybe for a concert or something like yeah. that. Um, you know, I'm just trying to picture the vibe at the time. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the, I love the instrumentation on it though. Like, I feel like this is much heavier on the percussion. It's um, like the kick and the snare. Yeah. Uh, cymbals really, there. really predominant. Yeah. The guitar is great. The, the, it sounds awesome. But I think it's, you know, in terms of the layering, it's a, you know, the depth of it is just, you know, for playing between percussion and that, I'm going to say the percussion is a little bit stronger. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, and so, I, but I feel like that's what makes it kind of interesting because yeah. it's such a, usually that's going to carry the rhythm, obviously. Yeah. So it's very predominant and it's there. And then we just get this like stop start again. Yeah. So it's like you start to get, you know, into the vibe yeah. and then it's yeah. like, no, hold on. I got to call to my vocal again. So yeah. and his, his vocal, this sounds, um, the whole lot of love was the first one that we did. Right. I um, think so. so this one, I think its vocal reminds me of that a bit more of like that kind of like higher pitch, like kind of like yeah, like kind of like that um, that scream, but it's not really a scream. It's it's yeah. uh, it, the pitch of his vocal is it's great still. Um, Actually, yeah, I really like his vocal on this. It's powerful and it you know captures your attention, but it's not anything like that hits your ear and you're like, ooh, like don't do that. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 not at all. I definitely. Like, I feel like it's super creative and I definitely think that it they're like very talented to put all this together and I like listening to it right now but I don't think this is something I could probably listen to on like a every day like on my playlist basis I feel like it'd be hard for me to like like you said be in the vibe of like listening to music and then have this on it's almost yeah. like you know but yeah I think I, that it's, it's a really cool song yeah I think you know it's hard to say sometimes too though because on your first listen you know like you when you uh, because we don't know when they're going to drop in and drop out with things or when the song's going to switch yeah so when you get to accustom to that and you know you know when the beat is going to drop or whatever then yeah exactly and then you know that vibe you don't even have to wait for it right so it's hard on the first listen sometimes i find that you know you listen to a song a couple of times and then you end up loving it you know you can play it all the time because it fits in whenever you want to but yeah uh, anyways i get what you're saying into it's in terms of the rhythm it's hard to pick up on it so it's like not something but super creative like i feel like this is like not something that you ever really hear anybody else do no like i said i do enjoy this one it's it's unique and it's creative and i think like this adds to their diversity in their catalog Mm -hmm. obviously it's nothing like we've heard so far from them which so much for getting used to their sound (laughs) yeah which is what you guys were saying right you can't really get yeah. used to their sound because they're so creative so this is something as well like when you put it in terms of the long form of like an album mm-hmm. when you sit it into an album then it's going to appeal much differently For sure, than 100%. just listening because individually the whole start to end of an album it's meant to all come together yeah exactly and, and starting, i think that's right? probably at that time was more important creating yeah. an entire album anyways let's shut up let's let them do their thing i'm going to rewind it a little bit so that we get a little more led zeppelin
Well, that came out of nowhere. Yeah, I was like, whoa, what is that? And there's uh, Jimmy Page. Uh, I think it's hard, it's hard to remember all the artists that we've listened to <laughs> I now. Know. Um, on the guitar solo there, a lead lead guitar. And, the, you know, like you said, I really liked the riff that they had. But then, again, that was such a unique dynamic. And it seemed like, <laughs> you know, we went through that whole song. We talked about, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of rhythm to it. That we were, you know, stop, start aspect. And then... As soon as he said that, all of a sudden, just, <laughs> yeah. just, just like you wanted rhythm. Yeah, and uh, I, I enjoyed that second half though. I, I liked that part. It was great guitar playing, obviously. Yeah. Um, we've heard so many different great guitar players, and it's amazing. I keep saying it. I'm just so amazed how each individual player always has their unique vibe that they're able to yeah. apply to these songs. Yeah. And it's such a unique guitar sound in itself. You know, like they really. Oh yeah, they all sound so different. Yeah, and this one I felt like, you know, you could feel that that fit in again with the song really, really well of this like stop, start, energy vibe. Yeah. Like I said, maybe something for a concert. And then, you know, he comes in with that guitar solo and that's what I felt like it was an electric solo. Yeah, I would solo. say more of like an electric energy. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, I enjoyed it though. Yeah, it was awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our reaction to Black Dog by Led Zeppelin. If you did, you know what to do. Hit the like button. And yes. now you have to let us know where to go next and what we should do from Led Zeppelin next. There's a lot of tracks out there <laughs> that I know we can do. Yeah. And um, we still haven't done any live versions, so that's definitely yeah, something we want to do as well. So I think there's one at Madison Square Garden that you were saying that we should check out. Uh, but... Uh, let us know in those comments where you would like us to go next, and then we'll make a decision from there. All right, that's it from us today, guys. We'll be back soon with another one. See you guys in the next one.